Hi and welcome again to another edition of CIA 360 Mods. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put silver thermite compound underneath both your heat sinks so that way they run a little bit cooler. You'll need some silver thermite compound. You can buy it at Best Buy, you can buy it at Radio Shack, Fry's Electronics, any place like that usually carries this kind of stuff. It's, it's not too expensive but it does run about ten dollars a tube. Uh, you need a small little tiny screwdriver, a T8, and a T10. Alright, first you're going to start by turning your Xbox over. After you do, uh, refer to my other video, taking X part apart and uh, taking the DVD drive out, you need to do that first. Then you need to take out your fan right here. Pop the fan right out. Comes right out. Then you need to turn your Xbox over. And then there's the screws here. All these screws, every screw on here gets to come out. All the silver ones are the T8, or are the T10, and then the black ones are the T8. So I'm going to take those out right now. Okay, now once you have all of your screws out, you want to turn your Xbox back over, and you have your RF board right here. It's got three screws in there. It has a screw here, a screw here, and a bottom screw here. Once you take those out, your RF board just slides out. It's very easy. It comes out very gentle. Alright, now you, you next thing you want to do is you want to take out your motherboard. Um, you want to start from the front. Just grab onto your big heat sink. It's in there pretty well. And just kind of shimmy it up just a little bit. Real gentle. Then once you get it up, you can grab onto these things right here. And just pull it up. You want to pull it up from the front, not from the back. Because if you pull it up from the back, you're going to jiggle some things that you don't want to jiggle loose. And then it just comes right out, just like that. And this is your, this is, this is your motherboard right here. Uh, ne the next step is you can just set that to the side. Set your frame to the side. You want to set your motherboard upside down. Alright, now your next step is you want to take out the X clamps right here. I always found it easier if you use just a really, really small screwdriver. Not too small because it'll bend, but a smaller one. And you just sh put it right here in between the X clamp and the um, the little post that it's on. And just kind of pick it up and it should just pop right out. Just like that. You just want to kind of like shimmy it up at the same time. And once you get the first two off, the whole, it just comes off real easy. So you just kind of... You want to be real gentle. Anytime you're dealing with your motherboard, you want to be really, really gentle. Because you don't want to put too much pressure on it. You could crack it, and then you're out 150 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever it cost you for your Xbox, plus whatever you put into it. Because we all know you got to put a lot of money into an Xbox. But it's worth it. Just kind of shimmy them off. See? Came off. Now you want to do the next one. Once you get your X clamps off, you turn over your, your motherboard, and the heat sink should just kind of rock right off. See how we got the heat sink off right there? Now this one just comes right off. And see, it's already got some compound on there on the bottom of the heat sinks, but it's not, it's, it's a ceramic compound. It's not as good as the silver thermite we're going to put on there. So it'll, it'll work a lot better with the silver thermite. But to clean these, you just want to get some rubbing alcohol and some q-tips and just clean up. I'm gonna go get some rubbing alcohol and I'll be back in a second. Okay, now you just take your rubbing alcohol and dip your q-tip in your rubbing alcohol. And you can just, you can do your bo the bottom of your heat sinks first so that way you get a feel of it and just rub it on there and that comp, that uh, the compound will just come right off. It might take a little bit of elbow grease but it should come off pretty easy. And you want to make sure you get it really clean. So you want to make sure you get all of that off. And do the same for both the heat sinks and then you just clean up around the chip and it should shine up pretty nice. Okay, now this is about 10 to 15 minutes later. I got all the compound cleaned off the small heat sink. The other heat sink, it's nice and clean. And then now I got my chips. I got them all nice and shiny. If you can see that, it's nice and shiny. All right, now what you want to do is you want to put your silver thermite compound right on top of the chips. You don't want to put too much. You just want to put enough to cover the chip. You kind of dab up and down around. 
to get the chip and you want to make sure you get the sides but not too much. Now the same for this chip over here. You can do a couple small dabs on these other little components over here. Won't hurt anything as long as you don't put too much. So when you're done, you want it to look something like that. All right, now once you have all of that done like that, now you want to make sure you have the right heat sink for the right thing. This is your CPU heat sink. This is the new Jasper set heat sink. So if you, if you don't have a Jasper, then your heat sink's going to look a little bit different than this one. But this is the new one. All right, so I mean, this is your GPU and this is your CPU. Your CPU is what controls everything, and then your GPU is your graphics processing unit. So you want to make sure you put this one on your CPU. So you want to make sure you don't put it on sideways because your airflow guts to go backwards. So you got to make sure it goes on just the way you took it off. So you can just set that right on top like that. And push it down a little bit. Then you want to go back and get your other heat sink. And like same thing, you just want to make sure you put it on right. And just set that right on top. just like that. Alright, now you want to turn it over and you're going to want to put your key clamp or your X clamps Amp, see there it went, that's why. You want to make sure you put your X clamps on this one first because it'll come off if you don't. So you just take it put it on there and then putting, on the, putting the X clamps back on is the, the easy part. They just pop right on. And if your X clamp doesn't want to go on there, you can use a little bit of force to put your X clamp back on, but you don't want to use too much because you don't want to risk breaking your motherboard or anything. And so they go back on just like that. And so then you've just put silver thermite on both your heat sinks, so they should they should run a lot cooler now. Um, then you just re repeat the process uh, except for reverse to uh, put everything back together. Thank you guys for watching. hope you guys enjoyed. I'll have more videos posted as always. Um, rate it, comment, don't care if you subscribe, but uh, thank you guys very much. Have a great day.